What should you tell when you are buying you? Be more careful though, you can't buy dinner. I know anybody pour my drink. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and please subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, welcome back. All right, so it's been five days since I did my big chop. As you can see, I did my big chop. Do I have any regrets? Hmm, no. I have no regrets. I love it, I love my hair. It's a learning process, trust me it is. Because in the five days, I've washed my hair like four times already. I keep forgetting that I don't have all that hair that I used to have. So the amount of products that I've been using in my hair since my big chop, it's too much. Yeah, so like I was saying, I keep forgetting that I need to limit the products that I've been using in my hair. So every time I apply product, it's just sitting on top of my hair and it's clumping up in my hair and all that stuff. So I have to be washing the products out and trying over again. It's a learning process. I'm learning about my hair and you know, I'm having fun while learning. It's still a little wet. I washed it yesterday and it's still a little wet. Like when I touch my hair, it's still wet. Anyways, that's not the point. My advice to you is if you want a big chop, go ahead. Don't be scared. The main thing is confidence. Confidence is key. Always remember that. Just rock the hell out of your hair and make the best of your big chop. Dolled up, look all cute. Even if the length is not what you want, go ahead, just go ahead, do it. You can always do different styles with your big chop. Put yourself together, put your makeup on, put your jewelry on, dress nice, and still rock your big chop. My next thing is do what you want in your hair journey, not what others want. It's your hair. I remember when I just started my transition, I got questions like, um, do you remember your hair texture? Do you really want to go natural and you're not sure of your hair texture? I don't care. My first relaxer, I was seven years old. So I don't really remember much what my hair texture was when I was a kid. People would be telling me, oh, your hair is already thick while relaxed, so if you go natural, it would be too thick for you to manage and you won't be able to manage, blah, blah, blah. That's not my reason for going natural for hair texture or whatever i just want healthy hair i just want my hair to be healthy i don't have to be worried about relaxing my hair every eight to twelve weeks every three months or whatever when i was relaxed i mostly did like flexi rods perm rods bantu knots i'm always doing these curly hairstyles so what's the sense of Getting a relaxer and then going straight back to curly hairstyles or braids, braiding my hair, wearing weave, doing flexi rods, bantu knots and all that stuff. I didn't see the sense of keep getting a relaxer and I'm not wearing my hair straight. I would only straighten my hair once a year. It was only to trim my hair. That's the only time I straighten my hair. I never wear my hair straight. What's the point of getting a relaxer? That's why I wanted to go natural. So my hair can be as healthy as can be. I can wear my curls. I don't care what type curl. I don't even know what type curl I have. I don't really care about all those stuff. 4A, 4B, 4C. I don't really care about that. Another thing, test new products. Try new products to see what your hair likes. Because my hair might like something that your hair might not like. I'm currently using a few new products just to see what can go with my natural hair. I still use a few products from my relaxed days, but I just started trying the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. It's working well for me. So try new products, see what you like, what works best for your hair. Another thing is trim when necessary. Don't just keep trimming your hair because, oh, they say I should trim my hair two times a year, three times a year. No, trim when necessary. You don't always have to be trimming your hair every three months, no. I see some YouTubers, they trim their hair once a year or twice a year if necessary or so. You don't have to like keep trimming your hair. If you keep trimming and there's nothing to trim, you won't be seeing results from your new growth because you're just cutting off what you're retaining. Another thing, do not compare. 
don't compare your hair oh i can't go natural because this person have this hair texture that's why they can go natural that's why their hair grows faster this and whatever no love your hair love yourself it doesn't matter what curl pattern what curl type you have if you want to go natural go natural don't compare yourself with others another thing i suggest is leave heat alone deep condition once a week at least once a week deep condition your hair it helps so much with your curls with your growth your hair growth deep condition in my hair once a week it helped a lot another thing is keep your hair moisturized just like how your body needs water daily your hair needs moisture just like that if that's a good example it is a good example and do protective styles if you watch my big chop video you would see my intro how nervous i was and if i can do it you can too oh one more thing what i noticed about my hair texture i think i've said this in a video before i think it was my deep conditioning video i noticed that i have two texture if you have one texture curl lucky you but i know this too so far like the let me show you like the top of my hair is more loose and then the sides the back and the sides have tighter curls and no i don't have heat damage it's not heat damage because i don't use heat it's just a different curl from the sides okay so if you made it to the end of my video thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next video bye